All right, what's going on, Funk MMA? My name is Phil DeRue. I'm the head strength and conditioning coach over at American Top Team. I train over 85 professional fighters. I also train judo Olympians and professional boxers. I've worked with the likes of Dustin Poirier, Ioana Janjacek, Edson Barbosa, Junior Dos Santos, Frankie Edgar, the list goes on and on. I want to thank Funk for letting me come on his uh, channel here and give you guys a protocol that I utilize to help power endurance. Having the ability to have that knockout power for the long duration of the entire time of the fight, whether it be the first round or the fifth round. So let's get into the protocol and let's get after it. All right, so now the total overview of the workout. First and foremost, you wanna do a five minute warm up, whether that be on a salt bike, doing some dynamic stretches. You just wanna make sure that you're getting core temperature increases, tissue temperature increases, and you're getting a nervous system response to increase the effectiveness of the workout. So the workout itself, we're gonna do three major movements with the kettlebell. First movement is gonna be a two arm swing. The second one is gonna be a one arm swing, alternating arms. And then the third movement is going to be a rotational swing. You see how we're working through each individual movement pattern. We're working through planes of motion that are going to increase the effectiveness of power production for the sport itself inside the cage. All right. So for each swing, you're going to do 10 repetitions. And for each single arm swing, whether it be for the one arm, you're going to do five and five. And then each rotation is going to be five times one side, five on the other for 10 total swings. You're gonna repeat that every minute on the minute, so an imam set, right? Every minute on the minute for 12 total minutes, and you're gonna get four sets of each swing, all right? Make sure that every swing is technically sound and make sure that you're increasing the power production. The goal here is to make sure that you can recover right before you go to swing again. So while you're waiting, you're gonna shake your arms out. You can do some shadow boxing, which I'll do in the, in the, in the workout itself. We'll do some shadow boxing, we'll move around, but we're just trying to stimulate blood flow, making sure that we're getting that response that we need, but we're also recovering as fast as possible to do the swing again. How this is going to correlate into the sport, again, when you're talking about a flurry of punches and kicks, this is going to be highly conducive to what you're going to be going through inside the fight, and then you have to get on your bike and move around and recover as fast as possible before the next set. So, we're going to get this started. Me and my boy over there, Nick's gonna help me, and we're gonna make it work. Follow along, let's do this. All right guys, so check it out. First one we're gonna do is the kettlebell two-arm swing. So what you wanna do is you wanna set the kettlebell up in front of you, right? We're gonna get an arch back, right? We're gonna stick our butt back, get that, get that hinge there in that position. I'm gonna start the time. We're gonna do 10 repetitions, all right? And we're gonna do this four times through. So each repetition, make sure that you're explosive. We're gonna do the two-arm swing, then we're gonna go into the one-arm swing, then we're gonna go into the rotational swing, and then we'll repeat that four times for 12 minutes. So every minute, we're gonna change up the swinging movement. Here we go. First one, two-arm swing. Three, two, one, go. Knockout, 10. Shadow. 
moving. Four minutes in. Control your breathing. Make sure you're getting the swings. It's technical, you're efficient, but you're producing power. Then from there, just run the arms. Move around, just don't bounce. Just move, move, all right? You wanna clear out as much lactate as possible. Rotations now, here we go. Rotate, hip, hip. Five down. Here we go. Five minutes in. So that was it, 12 minutes total of the workout. The entire workout in general with the warm up and the cool down should take you no longer than 20 minutes. So this can be done every other day. It could be done at your house, it could be done at the gym. All you need is a kettlebell and your body. Again, you wanna make sure that you're managing your fatigue and making sure that you're managing your workload through your skills training so that you're not overtraining yourself. I wanna thank Funk Roberts and Funk MMA for letting me come on the channel. I've been a huge subscriber and a follower of his for a long time now, so it's a huge honor for me to come on here and give you guys a little bit of, uh, of knowledge from myself. Thanks again. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments down below. If you like this video, let me know. Hopefully, I can do another video like this in the future. And uh, if you want to check out any more videos of myself, you can go to my channel, Feel the Rule Strong. Thanks again for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you again next time. Peace.